In this video, we're going to be learning how to use the extend trim functions in QGIS and how to have like a snapping vertex as a tip or trick. So I got these two layers right now here. One is the magenta, which is in the projected coordinate system, which is UTM 60 North, which is appropriate for this area. And I have the green one in WGS84 because I know like me, many work with global um, data sets. So we have these two different systems. We've got a projected coordinate system and we got an unprojected one, which is WGS84. Before we start, we need to have two things enabled. We need the snapping toolbar and the advanced digitizing. If you don't have it already in your uh, tools, because depending on how you have set it up, you might not see it. You can just right click on any part that is white or I don't know, cream, what color this is, and check the snapping toolbar. And you're going to have something like a little magnet here and do the same for the advanced digitizing toolbar because it's in this toolbar that we have the trim and the extend. So for the advanced digitizing and the magnet, which will enable the snapping, we click on it and then we can set, you can use pixels or meters. I will use 10 meters first. And also the map I'm using already has a projected coordinate system to work. So again, it's in UTM zone 16 North. Now we have some lines here and we already have the advanced digitizing toolbar. So if I edit the UTM and toggle the little pen here, you can see that this is enabled and we will focus on the trim and extend feature for now. Now, one thing that QGIS does not have is how to show the markers, or at least I don't know how to do that. However, we can do it with some geometry generators. So I'll just stop editing this for a while and open the layer styling panel for the UTM. And I'm just going to add um, another style with the green a plus button here and I'll change it to a geometry generator and I can just get the geometry and if I click on this expression I can just search for nodes and it says here that I can uh, expose all the nodes as points so it returns a multi-point geometry that has every node of this uh, geometry I'm using so this looks okay I'll use the nodes to geometry and I'll close this with the parentheses and I'll get a multi point here. So now I have my multi point here and then I can change it, of course, from point to from polygon to point. But I really do not need the point itself. The other thing that we can do is we can search for the geometry options here and you have several of those, but we can use buffer for this one. And this is already in a projected coordinate system. So I'll just buffer it and I'll buffer by the 10 meters that I'm using for snapping. And I'll click OK. Now it disappears because QGIS doesn't detect the geometry type from this by default. So you need to change it and I'll change it to a polygon. And I got this and then I can style it. I already have like this style I want to use. So I already have my 10 meters. So if I go uh, with my measuring tool and I click here and I kind of measure it's about 10 meters give or take okay so let's go back here and let's do the same thing for our green line which is in WGS84 again in the layer styling panel I'll add another um, symbol here go to geometry generator and I can just you know go to my recent and select my last one i got the same expression there click ok but now i have this weird big one so if i zoom to my layer it's really big because it's using the units of this layer which is in wgs84 now i can do two things i can reproject this to utm 
or roughly speaking one degree is about 60 nautical miles which is about one 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 ten zero meters yeah kind of okay but if you do like the rule of thirds then when you do one over 60 equals x over 10 you'll notice that you will need to multiply on the top by the distance that you want for the tolerance to have an approximate it's not going to be exactly 10 meters but it's roughly okay i mean it's just as a um reference layer we're going to be using and now we got this so 10 meters approximately you can see it overlaps kind of the same as the one below but has a different shape because it hasn't been projected it's really small so it's not going to be such a difference but you know you could do the projection to utm and get it but this is just a quick way to do it and again i'll just use the style for fill already have something here i'll just change the color to copy this color here and paste it to the geometry generator fill so i know which one is which so now we have like kind of our markers and we can kind of know where the snapping is so we have kind of replicated the markers for the snapping tolerance unfortunately if you change the value here you will need to go to the different um symbols to change it probably will be better to define a variable probably do that in another video and then you can change just the variable and all of your styles will come to it okay so now that we have here this let's try to do some editing to see how the extend and trim works Let's start first with our UTM one. Okay, so I'll just click on start editing because we need to start an edit session. We're going to click on the trim and the extend feature and the UTM ones are the magenta ones. Now notice that when you go over one of the features, well, you need to have enable vertex and segment because if you don't have the segment here enabled, then it won't snap in order to get the trim working. So you need to have selected to the segment. Okay, so we're going to be extending this. Let's try to extend this magenta one to this green. So to extend, we're going to click on the green one. You barely notice that it's a little bit like um, red. So it's selected and then uh, something weird is happening. So if I click this, it says it has done the trim extension, in this case an extension. But if I zoom out, it looks weird. Yes, it looks weird because we are working with UTM towards WGS84. So they are not in the same coordinate system. You're going to have a problem there. So I'll just turn this off discard and i'll try to do the same one now with the green line again click on this and i want to extend the green to this green okay so to disable you can click escape and now you know click kind of red there barely noticeable click escape is okay again so i want to click on this line here and extend this one and now it works okay so it has being extended now be careful because many of us really need a vertex to be included here to separate this into two different lines this is just the extension of the line itself so there is no extra marker in the middle so if you click on the node tool and you select here you can see that there is no node here for this feature so that's another thing that you need to consider okay so if you want to trim, I'll click on the green one, click again on the trim and extend symbol. I want to trim this line by this. So I'll click on this line and then I'll trim by clicking here and it's trimming the line. Now, sometimes, you know, you got some inconsistent result because I'm clicking here and it's not cutting the line so it's 
cutting in this side that's okay Control c to get back but i want to trim this part here and i click here it's not doing it where i want to be so some things quirks that you have in QGIS. i mean some things you need to work with so i'll just stop editing here and discard now let's move all of the green which is in wgs84 into the same layer as the utm I want to see what happens so i can just select my green i'll copy my features and then i'll start editing on the utm one and i can paste my features and turn this one off and clear my features and now i have everything on the same layer let's see what happens now so i'll try to extend i'm selecting the magenta features lines i click on the trim and extend and let's say i want to extend this one okay nice now i want to extend this line to touch this one okay and i want to extend this one with this working okay um probably i want to cut this one let's see if it works now it works in utm it does work you can see so Control c here if i click this this is the line selected if i click on this side it's going to trim this part Control c if i select this line and then I click on this part is going to trim on this other side. Okay, so now I'm going to trim this one with this. So I select this and I want to trim this part off. So it's trim in this direction. And then I'll extend this line to this one. So I'll click this and extend here. And I'll click this one, extend this. So now it works kind of okay. It's working really nice. Now let's try to do some editing on the polygon. So we got a polygon here and it's also in the same projection UTM 16 North and I'll start and edit on this layer itself. And again, click on the trim and extend. How it works with the polygons is you're going to select, let's say this line and you want to extend this polygon here. So you see, it kind of looks random but it's not really random once you know how it works you got selected this line and what it's going to do is extend the side where your cursor is so in my case my cursor is in this line here so it's going to extend this line until it touches either this line or its projection and then the other vertex is just going to you know do a line towards that point okay so if I click on this one, or I'm not clicking, just hovering on top of it, it's going to extend this one. And if I do this one, you see it's extending way outside on the projection of that particular feature. Okay. So let's say I want to, this polygon, do this part here. Let's see what I can do. So I'll just click escape because I want to click on this line to now you see, I'm going to be trimming this polygon, basically cutting it. And I select this one again. So now I have a trim to this part. I'm now going to extend it to all of these corners. Okay, so let's see. I'll click on this one here and extend this one. Click on this one again, extend. So now I have it here, this corner. This one, I extend here. Now I want to extend this to the top. Okay, so let's see. This one is going to extend. So I now have this corner. Let's do this part of the bottom. So I click on this one and I want to extend this. Notice how this line is the one going to be extended because I'm hovering over this particular line. And now I need to extend this one down. So again, select this one and extend it here. And there you go. So this is how you use the extend and trim feature in QGIS. If you know how to work with it, it kind of do, gives you good results. And I have teach you how to have this kind of snapping vertex that helps you when you are even drawing, you know. Now you can see that you are within the tolerance. Once you move inside the tolerance, it's snapping. Hope that this video has been useful. 
subscribe to the channel for more tips like this in the future.